Morning everybody, welcome along, Friday morning here and well all the kids, if they're not already on half term, they're going to be by the end of today. We've got plans for the half term holidays, just let me say goodbye to somebody, she might come and say hello quickly. Hello. And bye bye. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for coming, thanks for me, supper. Yeah and um, I was hoisted again this morning to be weighed and I've lost more weight. The doctor that come around was happy that things are going in the right direction. So hopefully tomorrow this drip of fruzamide can come out of my arm and he may, may send me home for the weekend. Well, plus next week. We'll have to wait and see though. All depends what happens overnight. Um, I ate all my dinner at lunchtime. I had a lovely shepherd's pie, carrot and sweet mash and some broccoli. Followed by a rice pudding. Tonight I've got some fried chicken, chips, beans and coleslaw with an ice cream. Very healthy I hear you say. Not. Aha. <laughs> well, everyone's moving around here in the bay. Uh, the young man opposite us, he's now in another ward. Uh, the man opposite down the bottom, he's going away to a care home. The bloke next to me, he's off home today, so there, there'll just be three of us left in here. Ooh. Yeah, frightening. Going like flies. Yep. Oh, she's coming back. Why is Tracy coming back? Left you left your jumper. You left your jumper? That won't be good, will it? No. <laughs> right, try again. Bye-bye. Oh, dear. What a damn shame. I call it... I call it old age. It's catching up with her. That's what it really is. Happens to us all, I'm afraid. It really does. Um, you ask Gavin, he knows all about old age. He's 40 now, can you believe it? I know. No. He was only 20 odd when I met him. Yeah, I think he was about 26 when I met him. 40. Ooh. I'm 54 next year. I am. Still, I can't catch my brother up, my big brother, Richard. He's the oldest one. I think he's older than Annette, I'm not sure. Then Annette, my sister, might be older. Yeah. Probably got that one right, uh, not the other way around. I hope you're all right, Richard, and you, Carissa. Hope you're COVID-free by now. I hope Mum's all right. Yep. I have seem to have lost Mum's mobile phone. Well, no, I've got a mobile number. But uh, I need your house number. So get Richard to leave me a message with your number and I'll give you a call, okay? Be nice to have a catch up. Um, there's still no TV. Well, I don't think there's any that they can come in this world. No TV. No. No radio, no nothing. You've just got the happy, happy sounds of the healthcare workers, the nurses buzzing around. It's a hive of activity in this hospital. They never get five minutes peace and quiet. Whenever a nurse is finished with somebody, somebody was like, excuse me nurse, can you help me? And you know, it's from one cubicle to the next. I mean, the nurse yesterday didn't get to have their dinners. Yeah, that's how busy it can be. Hmm? That's dedication. It is. It's being married to a job. Hmm. Not like me at Bun Leisure, eh? <laughs> I always had time for dinner. Well, this is me we're talking about. I've got time for dinner any time of day. Be it four o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock at night. <laughs> As half my ex-staff will tell you, we did have some weird dinner breaks. Yeah. And I've since found out that this new company that have taken over Bun Leisure, called Cove, they've decided to axe all the sport, sports tournaments, which pay for everybody's wages. There's a lot of a lot of what uh, a lot of wastage there going to happen. They'll they'll uh, live to regret it. Believe me, either that or they've got enough money, and they don't worry about making a profit. I wonder what Mr. Pete Trigger says about that. He's the overall venue manager. I might message him, actually, and say, unlucky, Pete. 
good white lasted, eh? 14 years they were there. But there you go. You've got to make way for progress. And you've got to make way for somebody else to talk on YouTube. Because I'm going. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be at home. Alright? If not, I'll speak to you later. Take it easy. Bye.